वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सोनिया हेयर फ्रॉम ग्रोइंग क्राफ्ट एंड टुडे आई वांट टू रियली शो यू माय बॉक्स दिस इज अ बिग बॉक्स इन व्हिच आई हैव केप्ट ऑल माय डिकुपाज नैपकिन्स सो आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर दिस मिस कॉज दिस इज ऑलवेज इन मिस कॉज आई थिंक एवरी एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे आई टेक आउट दिस बॉक्स आई शूट सम वीडियो देन आई जस्ट डंप ऑल माय नैपकिन्स हेयर एंड व्हाट नॉट दिस This box has seen so many prints, designs, and every, every, everything. Okay, so today I have planned to do a makeover of this box. Yes, this has been lying with me for almost two years now, and I have not done anything. This is just my brand logo sticker, and uh, which I had put for one of the event where I wanted to use this box. But I really wanted to give this box a good makeover. So. For that, first I will have to remove all these napkins. Yeah, this is so much. I I really don't know how much do you think this is, but this is so much for me, which I haven't used since ages. Since ages, I am just shuffling down with the napkins, and then I get confused. So, but uh, before we start any of the work, I just want to. uh decide on which napkin to use so i want definitely want this to be something really 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 vibrant something really preppy colorful and bright or maybe a simple floral print i don't know i don't know how will this look i think this is going to look good yeah How about a white, complete white box with this print? That's going to look really great. But will I be able to manage a white color box? Cause like I always say that my craft room is always in a mess, and there are so many colorful things lying here and there. So I don't know. I don't know. I love this napkin also. This is so colorful. This is just so vibrant. That this is going to go really well. Yeah, I am going to use this napkin. Or there is one more. this one i loved love to love oh this is too small for this one so this is one which i have picked let me just oh i loved this one too maybe i can have a complete green box and i can have this napkin over here and then i can do some really nice texture on this yes i'll go with this one I will go with that napkin, that really nice green and vibrant napkin here. So, okay, now I'm going to keep keep everything, everything. I'm just still <laughs> trying to see if I can have something. It's not. I'll go with this one only. Yes, decided. I'm going to use this napkin now. Before starting this napkin, of course, I need to prep up my base, and for this, I need to do my white gesso work. Let me remove this sticker from my box. Let me use my heat gun. Now, this is a quick trick. Whenever you want to remove any stickers or anything, uh, just re uh, use your heat gun. This has worked for my other uh, projects and. Once you have used your heat gun on it, removing the sticker becomes see it becomes super super easy. Yeah. Now, oh, this was really quick and super easy. Now I need to use my gesso and I will be using my artistic gesso and for this one I will be using my paint brush. Let me get my paint brushes.
okay so here is a twist that i will do my decoupage work first and then later on no 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 okay so let me just postpone this work to the later part and let me start with my blue and green shade now if you see my napkin this has uh, shades of blue and green the different shades of blue and green and i have decided to use these two shades on my complete box now for my cap i will be using my decoupage napkin which is for sure and for the bottom area i'm going to use my paints now instead of doing my gesso i will directly start with my paint work and i will not uh, go for a uh, any particular uh, pattern work i just want to have both of these shades the blue and green and i just want to run it nicely on my base so here and there i will be using my paints and i will make sure that i run this very nicely very thoroughly on my complete box so like i said i am going to blend in the colors i just need to make sure that i have both the shades equally distributed here and there done with my painting work and i have done painting on all the four sides and it's completely completely done this is looking so gorgeous i'm actually liking this brown and uh sea blue green shade so but i need to let this dry completely so that i can move on to the next step so yes i am going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process and uh the reason why i wanted to do my base color first like many of you will have this question that why uh did i colored my base first now the reason why i did this one is first is because whenever you are using these colors uh, especially if you are a messy crafter or a messy person like me there is 200% chances that you are going to have your colors around like you can see some marks here here my table is full of colors my base uh, this box base has so much of color and it has just sprayed out on the sides also so i did not want it to ruin my white color or my decoupage napkin so that's the reason i did my base coloring first now the second question what you can ask me is that uh, 
why i have not used gesso here so honestly honestly speaking on uh, the shades of this is so green and blue and i thought that in brown the blue and green the sea green blue color is going to pop out really well so that's the reason i did not added uh, any white gesso to it my best uh, base was really smooth so i really don't have to add uh, too much of uh, whiteness to the background i think the background as it is is going to look really 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 good so now i am going to let it dry completely and then i will be back okay so my box base color has dried out really well by now and now it's time to color my lid now for the lid i am going to of course going to use gesso uh, yes at the starting i said i'm going to do gesso then i started doing the actually paint color so because i was really thinking that which one to do first but finally i could decide that i will be doing my color first and now i am starting with my gesso work now here i need to save my base from having any extra color so let me let me keep this paper here so that when i color this area the color doesn't fall on my bottom part and sure i will be applying my complete gesso on my lid bonheur est passé À deux doigts de nos lèvres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, souvenir impossible à effacer. Bonheur est passé à deux doigts de nos lèvres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, souvenir impossible à effacer. Okay, so my box is done completely. I'm really, really, really happy with the way it has turned out. The colors are looking really amazing, and now I need to start with my decoupage work. And for that, I will be using my flat brush, which I really need to clean up because I have used two brushes so, in applying these colors and gesso. So yes, just a quick wipe cleaning, and this is ready. Now this is the napkin which I had decided to use and this is in complete green. Now first I'm going to remove the plies and then we will start the work now. This is okay. In one go I can remove both the plies. Yes, this is coming out well. <laughs> Really well. Me should I have it like this way or this way? I think I'll have it in this way. So I'm going to remove the complete ply of my uh, napkin because I am even going to have this decoupage napkin on the sides. So I think very less will be left or nothing will be left as of now. Okay. So. what i am going to do is i'm going to start with the first corner and then this is the way i am going to go now for this i will be using my diy decoupage glue yes you can have your uh, own diy decoupage glue i have already done a tutorial on that please do check my channel for that and this is working really great for me but if you have other uh, decoupage glue the mod podge and glossy or the matte finish you can always 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 use that now uh, for sticking the napkin i'm really confused whether to start with the sides or the center maybe maybe oh, okay there is some current issue so the lights are not working i think it will come back soon 
ओके सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद द टॉप लेयर फर्स्ट बट बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट नीड टू मार्क इट ऑन माई बॉक्स द सेंटर पार्ट दैट फ्रॉम वेयर आई हैव टू स्टार्ट ना यूजली विद दिस बिगर एपकिनस इट बिकम्स अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट टू नो द एजेस और मे बी या आई थिंक दिस इज गुड टू गो और शैला स्टार्ट स्टिकिंग ओके आई विल स्टार्ट स्टिकिंग इट फ्रॉम दिस साइड so that uh, trimming off of this area becomes easier for me as this is a lid i won't be able to trim off very easily from this portion so i will start from this area with a flat brush uh, spreading your mod podge or your decoupage glue becomes really 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 easy and like i always do i am going to share up all the links down in the video description box do check that okay now here i just want to have this green border i really loved that so i will put up this one here with my fingers i'm going to press this really gently and i just want to make sure that there are no gaps and no bubbles and with a paint brush i'll just flatten this up i'll just make sure that it sticks really well to my base this is one of the very important steps especially when you are working with the boxes that it should stick so much well to your uh, base yeah so i am done with this one and this is looking so gorgeous can you really see the colors i'm so 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 happy that i took up this napkin now i will start doing this in phases so first i am going to cover the half of my lid now why i am taking up half of my lid at a time so that uh, sticking my napkin becomes much more easier and what i'll have to do it i'll have to just run my brush quickly and straight here this is really going to save my time and my energy to but do make sure that you apply your uh, decoupage glue generously on your complete complete box now i'm done with this i'll just pull up my napkin or let me let me do this complete box at a time i think that will be really good so i'm just doing the uh, top part i'm not doing the side parts right now uh, not the sides of the box at all uh, this is just to make sure that i stick my everything my base and everything properly and the sides needs a little more uh, help a little more uh, patience to do that okay so here my mod podge is still wet my decoupage is still wet my decoupage glue is still wet who yes now i'm just going to pull up this tissue from both the edges and i will just dab it here now with my fingers and with my paint brush i am going to have my run my napkin all over and i need to be a little quick because as it is going to absorb your napkin it will going to have all those wrinkles which we don't want at all yeah so here i am done with this now i'm going to have my big size sponge dropper and quickly very 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 quickly i'm going to give it a good press this is going to make sure that i uh, just press down all the wrinkles out there so i think i should have done it in part by part but then that's okay if you can manage removing all these uh wrinkles then i think it's okay it's absolutely fine you don't have to be perfect every time if you are creating something and you are happy with that nothing 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 like it yes so 
very quickly very 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 quickly i'm just pressing all my napkin huh? and this is looking gorgeous this is looking beautiful yes here and there i can see the bubbles but i'm just making sure that i have my sponge dauber everywhere and it is drying out really really fast So yes, this is done and now I need to stick it on the sides. Now for the sides, as you can already see that uh, it is going to have this fold because of the um, square uh, paper size. So I am just going to trim this up. I am going to cut the extra paper from here. And whatever is left, I am going to just overlap that one. Just trimming off the extra papers and now I will stick this part also. So, yes, I just need to remove my flap. I'm adding my decoupage glue. I'm doing my DIY decoupage glue here. Uh, yes, I've already done a video on that. You can check that on my channel. Now as this area is small, uh, with directly with my paint brush, the same paint brush, I am sticking this very nicely on my lid. A quick brush up and this looks great. I am really, really, really excited with the color combination. Now in the same way, I am going to do it on the other part but I really can't force this base now because I have just added my glue to it so I'm going to keep this stone here so that it becomes easier for me to hold this side now here also I need to trim off the extra extra paper let me just cut this area also and here also I am going to cut uh, this portion I'll just keep it straight and then I will trim it off you don't have to be very particular because later on anyways we can do the finishing work with the decoupage I will need my decoupage glue here also you need to be really 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 generous and good with your decoupage glue you need to apply a good amount of decoupage glue so that your napkin sticks really well and once you are sure that your napkin has sticked well to your base then uh, that is going to make sure that your project has sticked well and it will definitely last longer now with the same brush i just uh, brushed it up and it has sticked well here now i just went it on this side uh, i think i over uh, under did the mod podge works so i need to give a good press here and this is done now on this side i need to have my decoupage glue now this is going to be a little tricky because here i have the lock which i do not intend to uh, cover at all so i will just brush up my decoupage glue here and now I'll pull it down and now with the same brush I am going to stick this now on this area I'll just trim down my 
paper I will make sure that I cut it into smaller parts so that so that it's easier for me to <laughs> stick the uh, stick, stick it around the lock and yes I was able to do that really well and now dab your paint brushes around the lock and done 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 this is done this was a little tricky but interesting one so yes here I oops here I am done now I need to trim off all the extra papers yes of course I'm going to use my sandpaper but before that I just want to remove all the excessive big size papers so that it's easy for me to keep it for drying and then use it now i will be using my heat gun to speed up the drying process Okay, so here my decoupage napkin has dried out completely and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. The green color is looking so, so, so gorgeous and now it's time to remove all the extra decoupage napkin from this. And yes, here I'm going to use my nail filer. So this is a filer which I keep only in my craft room to uh, for my decoupage projects only and yes the same trick whenever you are using uh, your uh, phalo or your sandpaper you just need to make sure that you always run it opposite direction like from your decoupage napkin to your base to your side this is just going to make sure that all the extra paper comes out and don't do it reverse way it should always be in this way À deux doigts de nos lèvres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, souvenir impossible à effacer. Le bonheur est passé à deux doigts de nos lèvres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, souvenir impossible à effacer. Okay, so my trimming work is done and now I just need to uh, stick these edges now here the paper was a little big like I said I had just cut them uh, randomly so I'm going to cut it again the maximum whatever I can cut and then I will stick these edges this oops <laughs> this is just going to make sure that my edges don't look blank at all so here i have my regular brush i will just apply a tinge of my decoupage glue and i will stick this well and this is done now on both the edges i will be repeating the uh, same process even on the other sides also and you need to seal these edges because uh, these are such a small and the uh, so neglected part but they come out really quickly so I actually I have to do it on the all the four sides now done so my box looks really 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 amazing but still we are not done at all yes we are not done here because now we need to do some really nice uh, stamping work on this and of course with some detailing okay so here i'm back with my stamping tool and what i'm going to use is my uh, 
script stamp and this is a Ikarvel permanent ink pad and I'm going to use this on my box now uh, you need to be really careful when you are doing your stamping work because you need to make sure that uh, whatever you stamp especially the script stamp it is in a straight line it should look like a uh, one text has been uh, done here uh, I know that it's completely impossible to do everything perfectly but you need to try and I'm sure you guys can do it I'm sure you guys can definitely definitely do this so here I'm just stamping this on my complete box and this looks great now I'm going to repeat the um, same pattern here let me lock this box okay now I will be doing the stamping work on the complete box and this is in the continuation like I'm doing the stamping here and I'm repeating it on my plain painted area also okay so on this area I actually apply too much of pressure that's why the text has not come out well so i hope you all will not do or repeat these uh, mistakes let me do some stamping here also okay this looks great i just need to do some stamping on uh, this edge so i'll yeah this is looking good now now i'm going to repeat my stamping on the sides also maybe what I can do is I can have it like this give a complete good press there and this looks really really good now I will be repeating the same on the other sides too so yes I just I just did a blunder but then that's okay it's on the sides and but you guys do make sure that you don't repeat these mistakes at all now on the back side I think first I need to remove the decoupage paper, oops, the decoupage paper. so let me, let me just fix this okay so now for this one oops, I will have to take it up let me take this up so that it cuts well is done this looks really neat now and now I am going to do my stamping work and sure I really want to be careful I don't want to mess up with the alignment of my stamp this is coming out really really great yes this looks quite good to me did I do it yeah I just did it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat my stamping on these edges so that it does not look empty at all and on some of the areas I just need to fill it up just a bit of stamping for the touch up and it's really good to go okay so here I am 
absolutely absolutely done with my stamping work now if you remember uh, some time back I did a video on uh, raisin art and I had created this beautiful pendant which my daughter is not using and honestly uh, I also love this so much and I thought of using it in some of my craft project and I think this is going to really pop out well because this has all the shades of pink and orange and uh, my box is in complete green color so I thought this contrast color will come out really well so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this to the center of my box and let me press it and let this come out well okay now this has come out really well and now I am going to stick this the center of the box I think this is good so I'm done so yes on the inner side uh, everything is blank there's nothing has been done and I have decided not to do anything on that and I need to use my varnish here so yes for my varnish I'm using a wood finish, a wood finish varnish from Asian paints I have done a video on this also you can always just scroll down to my channel and uh, see all these videos and I'm going to pour in my varnish and I'm going to run this on my complete complete box this is just to make sure that even the uh, inner surface of my base is also uh, safeguard with any uh, damp or any uh, of those waters or the liquid or anything so I'm just doing a quick varnish work on my complete box from inside too. favorite thing to do that I am going to use my varnish on my complete box but 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 of course with some glitter on it because I really like my boxes and everything to be a bit shiny they give some really extra touch to your uh, project which I really like so I have just added few uh, glitter this this is a really a fine glitter which has dual colors so it gives you the tinge of blue and green which is this looks white but when you uh, stick it in your project you will realize that uh, it gives the look and feel of uh, blue and green I will show you uh, that at the end of the pictures and I am now going to cover my complete box with this so either there are two ways either you can uh, use your uh, glitter mix it with your uh, varnish in a complete separate uh, jar and then you can do it on your box or if you can just move your hands really quickly and mix it well then you can definitely do it on the box itself so here I am going to have some more of glitter some more of varnish I'm going to mix it really well and now I'm going to brush up on all the sides really 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 quickly so adding glitter is completely optional uh, like you can just uh, do the paint work and do your varnish work or your decoupage work and the varnish work but here I love adding like I said I love adding glitters to few of my projects not all but a few of the projects so that's the reason I, I have added glitter to it yes I'm uh, sharing the link of this glitter down in the description box do check that I immensely love this glitter let me just show you that uh, 
can you really see this can you see some shades of uh, green in this i'm not yeah can you can you see the shining greens in that so that is uh, when you see it looks like it is a complete uh, um white color glitter but when when you apply that then you will realize that it has so much of shine to it and very subtle shine which looks really really great with your decoupage and your mixed media work so a quick 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 brush up you can use a bigger size brush if you have uh, i could not find my bigger brush than this that's why i am using this flat brush the size of this brush is nine and if you have a bigger brush than this then definitely you can use that too now again i'm mixing my glitter to my varnish and i'm giving a quick brush up now one more plus point when you use your uh, glitter and mix it on the base itself uh, you don't waste your extra glitters it, whatever it is it is going to be on your box and if you don't mind that then uh, that's the good, good thing uh, i feel that whatever extra is going to stick to your palette is not wasting this way it is going to be on your box itself which is going to make it look a little more shiny and little more glossy so yes here i am done with my coat of varnish and now it's time to do my uh, lock now for the locking i'm just going to keep it as it is i really loved the uh, way it has turned out so it's actually looking like this which is really blending with my color combination the black the white some clear color and some decoupage napkin so i absolutely love this one it's just that i need to add some varnish to it just to make sure that it is really protected well uh, from the weather and all those uh, regular use because i use my decoupage napkin so much that i'm sure that i'm going to use this box a lot a really really lot so yes here it's done and once it dries out completely then i'm going to do my second coat and for my second coat i will be not using any glitter it will be just 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 the plain um varnish and with this my tutorial is done i really really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial listing down all the supplies down in the description box do check that and before signing off i really request you all to please subscribe to my channel and share my videos as much as you can cause the number of views i get the number of comments what i get is really inspires me to create something new and come up with something new thank you so 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 much for watching take care bye bye